Like passions, we think some of the saints in the Old Testament were superstars. We think that they went to heaven every evening and returned again in the morning. Well, Elijah went to heaven one evening and didn't return in the morning. But he was still a man of like passions, such as we are. And it is for people of like passions, such as we are, it is for people like that that redemption was accomplished. If you feel that you are hopeless tonight, I want you to know that it is exactly for people like you and like me who are hopeless for whom redemption came. Now you say, well, what do we have to do to get rid of those habits then? How do we have to apply the redemption? How do we have to go about changing our minds and changing our thought patterns and changing our habits? That's what I'm going to talk to you about. So you've got to come back. But tonight, I want to stress that before you can even get that far, you must be convinced that God is good and that you want deliverance. You must really say, God, I genuinely want to be delivered. And I'm willing to pay any price for deliverance. And even if you make some demands of me that I don't like, I'm willing to face up to those demands because I believe way is best. <clears throat> Secondly, you've got to take all the responsibility. You've got to stop blaming all other people for the way in which you are and say, I am responsible for my own responses in life, and I take that responsibility. And then thirdly, you've got to believe that deliverance really is possible. It's possible. And when you really believe those three things, God can begin to apply the word of God to your heart. And you can be delivered. Now what I'd like you to do is quit. Can I next week? Is begin to think of some of those sinful habits that you have. Begin to read the word of God with the idea in mind how God is going to use those habits to teach you something. And how it's going to be one of the greatest experiences in your life in being able to shed some of the things in the past. And so you will experience God's grace and God's power and learn about yourself. And it'll be a tremendous teaching experience of being free from some of the things that you thought would bind you forever. They don't have to. Because Christ died. To set you free. Let's pray together.